So solving in equations is, is mostly the same as solving equations. So if we look at our properties of solving equations, um, it's, it's the same except for one thing. So what I mean is it, we're going to treat this just like we would an equal sign, uh, the, the less than sign. X plus 3 is less than 17. So if I'm going to solve, I'd say, okay, uh, that's plus 3. Subtract 3 from the other side, and my solution is X is less than 17 minus 3 is, is 14. So I do have an infinite set of answers here. This means X is all numbers uh, less than 14, 13, 12, 11, et cetera, negative 20 million. Okay. And then in my next example, I have uh, 4X is greater than or equal to negative 24. Again, treat it like you would an equation. So you'd say, okay, I, I divide by the coefficient. So X is greater than or equal to negative 24 divide by 4. And I get a solution of X is greater than or equal to negative 6. Did I say greater than or less than? Okay. okay, and I can have a kind of a harder or, or more, more steps, I should say, in equation like this, where th there's no difference between this and solving an equation except for that symbol right there. So to solve this one, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply the other side by 3. And when I do that, I get 15, because 5 times 3 is 15. Next, I'm going to subtract the other side by 1, because I'm doing the opposite operation. And I get 2x is less than or equal to 14. And finally, my last step is to divide by the coefficient, which is 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So I get x is less than or equal to 7. Okay, and if you look at all three of my examples so far, uh, the inequality sign hasn't changed. All right, it's, it's staying the same. So equations, I only have one thing, I have an equal sign. But, but in equations, I've got four, four different signs to, to work with. Okay, so things don't, don't start happening just yet. Okay, until something like this starts happening where uh, my coefficient is a negative number. So to solve this one, the first thing I, I do is I divide by the coefficient, 30 divided by negative 5. And what happens, when, and I'll show you why in a minute, what happens when I divide by a negative number, my sign changes direction. So it goes from a greater than to a less than. And 30 divided by negative 5 is negative 6. So we'll call that a switch. I don't know what the actual term is, but why does it do that? Okay, and why it switches direction here is because of the number line, because of the integer number line. If I have uh, 3 and 4, and I've got, okay, if I look at just integers, 3 and 4, and I go, yep, okay, uh, 3 is less than 4, That's that, that I know. But then if I change the signs here, which is what I'm really doing here when I divide by a negative number, um, negative 3 is not less than negative 4. Negative 3 is actually greater than negative 4 because it's, it's closer to that 0 than negative 4 is. So... You know, be, because of this way the number line is set up, that's why we do these. Uh, next example here, x divided by negative 3 is less than or equal to 4. So to solve this one, I'd multiply the other side by negative 3, like this. Okay, and like my previous example, if I multiply and or divide by a negative number, when I'm solving equations, in equations, I switch the direction of the sign. Okay, you don't change it from a less than or equal to to a less than or to a greater than. It just changes direction, and the the reason for that is is just because of the way the number line is set up. Okay. Okay, so when multiplying or dividing by a negative on your last step, uh, we switch the sign, and we switch it from you know, this way, uh, less than to greater than, etc. But I'll, I'll give you some examples of where this might be a little bit tricky. Okay, so this example, I don't know if, I'm, if my last step is going to be multiplying or dividing by a negative. Treat it like an equation. This is an equation where we have got uh, variables on both sides. So we're going to swap these two terms and reverse their sign like we do with equations, like that. Now, my sign doesn't change because I didn't do any multiplying or dividing by a negative. 
it's not like every time you see a negative or a minus you switch the sign that's not the case just when multiplying or dividing I collect like terms here clean that up and right now I know my sign is going to switch because I'm going to be dividing by a negative 5 okay and so since I divided by that negative 5 my sign switches direction to a greater than x is what makes this in equation true is all values greater than 2 and just just a note real quick it doesn't mean that uh, for example, uh, th this comes up a lot. Um, if I have n over 5 is greater than negative 3, your sign's not going to change direction here just because you see a negative. Because to solve this, you're multiplying by a 5 to solve. You're not multiplying by a negative 5, just a positive 5. So this doesn't change direction here. n is all numbers greater than negative 15. So that's that's the difference between something like this and, the, and here okay it's I'm multiplying by a negative 3 so it switches here I'm multiplying by a positive 5 doesn't change so finally we'll just do kind of one more one more question to uh, to hone our skills let's try it just try kind of a difficult one all right I've got a lot of steps going on here so let's just take a look at it one by one my first step is going to be to get rid of that fraction bit over that's x minus 4 divided by 3 so to get rid of that, I'll multiply this whole side by 3. So it looks like that. That's always nicer when I've got no fractions. Uh, next step would be to expand that 3 through to get to eliminate the brackets there. Still don't know if I'm going to do the switch or not. Next step is to swap the 3 and the x and change their signs. But that doesn't change the inequation sign. By now I should know if I'm going to switch the sign or not. And I'm not because I get a positive coefficient. So collect like terms over here and collect like terms over here. I get 5x is less than negative 7. And I'm not going to switch it because I'm dividing by a positive. x is less than negative 7 divided by 5. I could, I could make that a decimal, but don't want to. It's fine as a fraction. Okay, so that doesn't change. That in equation stays less than the entire way down. And uh, that's... That's the finished product on that one. Hmm.